Greetings entities and guardians, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cooker Run Oven Break, where I'm going to be focusing on another trial today, because honestly, the recent trials that I've been doing have been following a pretty spooky theme. Like, of course, if you exclude, like, Long Game, which then again, Long Game Dragon is pretty spooky himself, like, I mean, come on, that's a scary dragon. But also, I've done, you know, just showcasing off, I'm pretty sure, uh, bla Black Garlic Cookie, uh, I recently did the trial for Truffle Cookie, and I'm pretty sure a little bit back I also did Onion Cookie, but it wasn't too far back. I'm pretty sure it was also somewhat recent. So, to keep up with the spooky theme of this update and how it's going, we're going to be focusing on another trial, which actually, if you actually have seen the Truffle Cookie Diamond Rank video, then I would recommend that you do so, because I kind of hinted at doing this cookie, though I'm not sure if I would have the enough utensils for it, if that makes sense. And by utensils, I mean skills. But we're going to be doing Blackberry Cookie Trial. And also... It does say, I would need a level 8 Blackberry and a level 9 uh, Ghost Butler. My Blackberry is already at level 8, and I can boost her up by just a little bit. In fact, let's get to 10, because why not? The maximum you can actually have in this trial is 11. That's like basically all trials in their normal, easy, non-Rainbow Rank mode, just Diamond Rank mode. And also Ghost Butler, I can level up once, and then just feel 12 Spirit Potions, because there you go. Big friend. So... We should be pretty better suited for this trial, however, I still don't have Blackberry's Magic Candy, which it does say up here, you would need a level 5 Magic Candy. Kind of scary, but also let me equip just what these have to offer, just all those up there, being the uh, Hot Rod thing, motor, the bubble shield, and well, it's actually nice wave bubble thing. It's just the wave that like bubbles all jellies, and also the ghost teddy bear. Now before I even attempt this trial, Blackberry has a story, skill, the pet has a story, a skill, I'm pretty sure uh, the, they also have associated treasure. They have two! She has two, okay, so let's focus on her story first. Blackberry Cookie always wears a reserved look, but it would be hard to find a more caring and devoted cookie. She's been working at one prestigious household for a long time, and is praised for her miraculous ability to do a multitude of tasks in virtually no time. Despite Blackberry's tightest schedule, she always finds time to save the life of her ver uh, venturesome employer. Perhaps this is her main duty these days. Obviously, if you don't know, her venturesome employer is Adventure Cookie, and they're basically around each other all the time, which, that's kind of a lie, Adventure always tries to escape her. But according to her skill, it says, Followed by ghosts who float forward to replace jellies with blackberry jellies. Each ghost will create a power jelly after floating forward a certain number of times. Level up for more points for blackberry jellies. Interesting, so just replace the normal jellies with just b better blackberry jellies. Okay. Now, of course... We gotta focus on her pet, the ghost butler, that's what it's called. And according to their story, this ghost is the spirit of a faithful butler that oversaw the management of an ancient mansion. His loyalty to this household was so ingrained into this very being that even after he passed away, his soul continues to haunt the mansion while going about his incredibly tight schedule with the ease of a pro. Does he even ever take a break? Nobody knows. I'm just saying, if you're that devoted to like, still continue what you do in real life, I guarantee you, the moment that I die, I'm still gonna be uploading videos somehow. It might be cryptic and scary, but you know what, I will try. And according to the skill, it says, creates power jellies on top of basic jellies in a set sequence at certain intervals. Level up for more energy restored from potions created by the pet. Okay, so it's in a sequence too, so there's like a pattern to it. And Blackberry has not one, but two associated treasures. Being, first one, the Haunted Snuggly Bear, which according to this story, it says, Sure, it looks a bit creepy, but fear not, for this snuggly stuffed bear eats nightmares while you sleep. It even brings gifts of jellies. That would be something I would own in my house, which is also so uh, associated to Onion Cookie. And the skill for this says, Collecting a certain number of bear jellies will cause a ghost bear to appear. After scaring you, the ghost bear will create the ghost bear jellies. So level up for more ghost bear jelly points. Each bear jelly will reduce the treasure's counter by one. Giant bear jellies reduce the counter significantly more. Interesting. I wish it would just tell you how much more. But their other treasure that they have, if she has, is the Gigawatt Cube, which apparently, looking at this, is uh, apparently associated with Avocado Cookie as well, which, that's interesting, I would have assumed it was associated with, like, Lemon Cookie or something, because, you know, holds the cube. But according to the story of this, it says, On a dark and stormy night, an arc of lightning left a crater on the ground. With, w within was a cube of unknown origins, capable of conducting a surprisingly amount of electricity. This is why I assumed it had something to do with Lemon Cookie, but I guess I thought wrong. And according to the skills of this, it said it creates magnetite cubes at certain intervals. Sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the word magnetite cubes. Collect them for a 10 second magnetic aura that grants extra points for all jellies and causes electro jellies to appear. Level up for more points for electro jelly. Alright, I do have some doubts of getting diamond rank. We're probably not going to get diamond rank in this run, but hopefully 
Maybe if we get some better treasures here. Maybe I should, because I don't even have the Gigawatt Cube equipped. I think I'm going to swap out, because I would like to at least show off all the recommend uh, treasures. So, I'll just swap out the Bubble Wave Shield for the, uh, you know, Gigawatt Cube. Now, I'm not sure if we'll get down with a rink on this, but we'll at least give it a try. We gotta try it for the ghost, you know? And if surely you jest, there's also a package here for a bunch of uh, things in regards to uh, Blackberry or Pet and just some coins just to spend with, just so you can upgrade her. But anyway, time for the trial. Now, where did this cookie go? That's obviously referring to uh, Adventure Cookie, because she can just never keep a lid on that cookie, because Adventure Cookie is just always trying to strive for adventures. Look at these hands! I'm playing, like, frozen bear jelly hands, yellow bear jelly hands, pink bear jelly hands. There's so many bear jelly hands. Well, it's a good thing that we have the, uh, ghost snuggly bear jelly thing. Because we're getting a lot of bear jellies. And also the giant bear jellies, too. This is good. Gigawatt Cube is, it, it is honestly giving us some good magnetization. So, gotta appreciate that. But, we also, we just gotta make sure that we hold our tongue. Because we don't want to say something that, that will never happen, like... Because I hate it when stuff like that happens, and it's just like, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of like reverse karma, or maybe that's just like standalone karma. Get that magnet. Don't want to fall there. I should be getting hurt by these platforms, but I guess I'm not. Okay, I guess I'll stay up here. Sure, I guess that works. I did miss some frozen bear jellies, which is unfortunate, but I had no idea how that padding would work. Okay, here. Yep, we're fine. Okay, sure. Get the magnet. The magnet is the most important thing to get. Because it gets me every single thing. Your little laser beams, they ain't gonna hurt me. You know what is gonna hurt me, though? Words. I, I just say that with an absolute fact. Words will hurt me, and I will cry. But anyway, I should probably shouldn't be focusing on words hurting me. I should probably be focusing on ghosts trying to hurt me. Because look at these. Exploding lanterns? Like, I'm pretty sure this is something I'd be sh I should be a lot more terrified of. Come on. We, ha we, have we basically have everything for a bonus time. There we go. They literally hid the final levers, levers, the final letters inside the eyes of the plumbing bear jelly skull. Because now that I say that, I make it sound like it, it was a skull in the shape of bear jellies. It wasn't the bear jelly that had like a skull inside of it. That would be creepy. But anywho, gonna go ahead and focus more through here. We should be okay. okay there we go. Uh, rainbow bear jellies. Okay, nice. We're fine. Just want to make sure that I at least don't fall off. Still, I still doubt that we're going to get Diamond Rank. There are a lot of potions here, so that's good. But, still, I'm going to still, like, try my hardest on this. If I end up flunking, then still, i got to try hard. Get that, quickly. Okay, get these. Jump, major leap. And we're just shredding through literally everything that's in our way. Even got a frozen bear jelly thing. Surprisingly, in this single run, we did make it to gold, though, which I'm pretty impressed with. And luckily enough, I did not get hit there. That jump just kind of seemed pretty tight for my taste. But, eh, yeah, it's whatever. As long as I'm just making it through, then I shouldn't feel the need to complain about anything. Unless, unless if it's, like, if we're talking, like, super, uh, game-breaking. Like, we're talking, uh, this plumbing Lotus Dragon just not being there to help me. Because if that happens, I will complain. I will be a filthy casual about it. I don't care what you say. Because that was just unfair. Are we looping? Did we just loop around, or is there more? I don't know, this, this place is starting to feel familiar. Surprisingly enough, in this trial, we've uh, gotten to Emerald 1. Well, uh, no, we, we haven't. We're actually at Emerald 2. This is why I don't speak stuff with my uh, mouth open, because I always mess up on something. At least one thing I will always mess up on. But it's whatever, there's still opportunities for us to get points, and I'm really hoping that we manage to do that. Before I do anything, let me be smart about this. Is there anything that I can get for magic candy purposes? Yes, I can. Five of those. I'm going to actually, like, save my money here and be smart about that before claiming all the rewards. Because you want to make sure you do that or else you're just going to have, like, magic candies to waste. But I will still buy, I think, 12? I think 12 is the best number just to max it out. And if not, then it's probably somewhere around that ballpark. But here we go. Finally creating the magic candy, which I'll read the skill off of and see how that works. Even has a little, uh, boat, literally the same hair that, uh, Blackberry Cookie has. The exact same. Uh, I need to get, like, ten more. There we go. Yeah, I definitely need to extract some of my items just so I can get some more, uh, magic powder. I've been spending a lot for these trials. But whatever, at least I didn't spend as much. Come on, give me the big green bluish aura. 
I know it's not going to help me in the trial, but let me just tell you, once I use Blackberry in like a custom run, it's a, it's going to help out so much more. Game, please. There we go. Which gives me a boost in all jellies. That's definitely what I'm talking about. And according to the scope of this, it says, The fourth ghost gets enhanced, creating shiny Blackberry jellies in Blackberry potions. The stronger the enchanted power, the more points earned for black, uh, shiny Blackberry jellies. Okie okay, dokie. I accidentally pressed the home button. Fan pubbing tastic. Let me go all the way back down here, trying to find Blackberry Cookie. There you are. I gotta equip the better treasures, which is apparently a uh, hot. No, no, no. It's a uh, Snuggly Bear. Uh, apparently, Gigawatt Cube also works, but also the treasure map. Oh, just in case, I'm gonna equip the treasure map instead, because a, a lot of people seem to be using uh, the copy that I just have set up now. So let's see if this works. If we don't get Diamond Rank in this run. Then I assure you, what's going to have to happen is uh, we're going to need to do a little bit of upgrading for Blackberry. Either Blackberry or her pet. But whatever works, I just need to get through this. This music is very dramatic, but I feel like it definitely fits Blackberry Cookie. Dun -dun 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 -dun. It's kind of like a cookie that reminds me of a Blueberry Pie Cookie. I feel like they would be friends. I think. Maybe. I feel like the both of them will be pretty reserved, but super smart. Anyway, oh, I missed a rainbow bear jelly. That's fantastic for me. That's going to live in my head rent-free, even though it's going to move out pretty quick, because I'm really, I don't really care about that. <laughs> anyway, can we, can we just also notice the giant skull in the background? Like, I know it's hard to see, but like, look, uh, it's all the way to the left. It's hard to see because it was just covered up by all the jellies. Oh no, I missed the potion! Oh, that actually, that actually might, be, might be worse for me. Mm, that's uh now that it's gonna live my head rent free <laughs> out of all the things not the not missing that one rainbow bear jelly that's gonna be living my head rent free unless if I do have enough uh strength enough enough energy with blackberry but I don't know if I manage to get hit then yeah that's an automatic reset <laughs> like there ain't no way I'm, I'm just gonna make it through all that without like resetting and maybe I will get the potion the next time if I end up doing that which makes me all the more tempted to reset, but I just have to take the bullet and just keep on walking, you know? Okay, just barge through here with my incredible speed, thanks to the treasure chest. Or, it's actually a treasure map, but hey, it leads to a treasure chest, so you know what I'm referring to. This is... <sighs> That's definitely not good for me. that and guess what guess who got the pubbing uh not only the rainbow bear jelly potion from when i missed it but also a like, pubbing got the potion that i also missed both the rainbow bear jelly and the potion i managed to get both and i also got the big potion i'm living i'm so good right now so much better than the previous run insanely better than the previous run this is so good i'm so happy oh the last things are behind the pubbing eyes take that we are in a very good position right now, a lot better than before, because this time I decided to not be a screw-up and miss the Rainbow Bear Jelly, and also the potion before. And also, specifically, the big downfall was uh, missing that giant potion just so I could actually get past. Because uh, without that, I was just in automatically getting hit, there was just no way around that. Absolutely n I, I completely forgot that was a thing, and I apparently just dodged that. And I'm so happy that I dodged that. Imagine I'm just talking all this stuff, and I'm like, Oh, I finally made it, I'm the best. And then instantly gets hit. Instantly. Oh, that would've been aggravating. Straight up aggravating. But come on, we gotta, we gotta hopefully get clubbing Diamond Ring on this. I'm really hoping that we do. If we don't, i will be quite upset, but we just have to do probably just a little tiny bit of upgrading. It can't be like insanely much, can it? And if it is a lot, then I'll be shocked. It's probably maybe the, maybe hackers, I don't know. I doubt it's hackers. I feel like the score was too close, especially for my first run, to be uh, be considered, considered like a... Because I'm pretty sure, what was it? Uh, profit cookie? I'm pretty sure when I ran in that, I was like, how is everyone getting like these super high scores? And like even though I have the exact same level, like I just can't get it. And then I got comments saying, like, oh, it's just because uh, everyone who was running were like hackers. And I'm just like, oh... Okay, yeah, I just kind of got upset because I just spent a lot more for profit cookie than I ever did for like another cookie 
Oh, that's probably a lie, but I don't know. Okay, give me all the loots. We are close to running out of energy, and I know it may not seem like much. Yes, that potion, that's definitely gonna help. Uh, it may not seem like I'm, uh, I'm getting running out soon, but trust me, you run out faster than you think. So I just need to make sure not to get hit, and also make sure that I just get enough points here. Okay, this, got the potion, nice. How many more? 50, excuse me, 50 million? What do you mean 50 million? You know how much that is? Are you joking me? Unless if I can get like an absurd amount of points for this next plebbing like run. I don't know. It seems so close too. But what the pleb? Oh, we made it. Oh. Well, I mean, I was really complaining about that one. But you know what? 50 million points. We were still able to get it on this run. Which is enough for diamond rank. I also got that potion too. So we're still running somehow. Literally over 600 million points, 625 plus million points. That's insane, and we were able to easily get that. We did have a little bit of a mishap there, but I felt like getting that potion actually at the beginning was a lot more of a big help than you would assume. But I got that. I can get, get the rest of these remaining rewards, which is just some spirit potions onto the big crystals, coins, and tickets and stuff like that. And also I can go out here, I can get an extra reward of 200,000 coins for my efforts, and now I apparently have, what does that say, 67 diamond rings? Yeah, 67, that's a, we're, we're really raking them up. We're racking them up. But anyway, I guess we'll be finished with this video because we did basically everything that I need to do here. If you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share it with your friends for more kicker run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet or you want to. Hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also, I have merchandise available if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. And also, I have a Discord down in the description that if you want to, you can join because it's a fun time over there. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees.